Welcome to Photoshop, and today we're going to take a look at the 72 DPI or PPI myth of how you should size an image for the web. So this myth has been going around basically since images have been on the internet. And at one time, I even believed the myth. Because why? Because you didn't know it was a myth. It's just kind of what someone said and people believed it. But I'm here to tell you that 72 DPI or PPI is completely fictitious and wrong information. If you ever have somebody that tells you to size an image at 72 DPI or PPI, don't believe a word that comes out of their mouth. So first of all, what's the difference between DPI and PPI? So DPI is dots per inch, which is typically used in printing. PPI is pixels per inch, which is, which is used on a computer screen because a computer screen is made up of pixels. So let's come in, we've got this image here and we're gonna go up in here to image and down to image size. I'm going to try to keep this simple because I don't want to confuse people. When you are sizing an image for the internet or the web, you always use pixels. When you are sizing an image to be printed, you'll use inches or you could use the metric system. So if you're in Europe, you could use centimeters, millimeters, all right? So for print, you use a combination of image size right here, the width and the height, that's what how big your print is gonna be at a specific resolution. So 300 is pixels per inch or sometimes people refer to it as dots per inch. We all basically know what they're talking about. When it actually, a printer prints, it actually prints dots per inch, not pixels per inch. So that's sometimes where you hear the mix up, but you'll notice pretty much they've come to a conclusion on computers that most things are set up as pixels per inch on computers these days. You don't usually see too much in DPI. We're gonna wanna set this at 300 pixels per inch. And what does this mean? So when it prints, it's gonna have 300 dots per inch. The higher the resolution, the better the quality. If we make this at 72, it's still gonna be the same size, but it's only gonna print 72 dots per inch. So what the computer is gonna do, or the printer in this case, instead of having little teeny dots, it's gonna have much larger dots in that inch that it's printing. And you're eventually gonna be able to see each little dot and the resolution is not gonna be high enough. We never print something at 72 dots per inch or pixels per inch because you would see them and the image quality would not be good enough. So when you print, you definitely need a combination of width, height, and resolution. So this is an exaggerated example of dots per inch. So on the left side here, we have 72 DPI, and you can see there's fewer dots and the dots are larger. And then on the right side, we have an exaggerated version of 300 DPI. So we have smaller dots and a whole lot more. However, when you size something for the internet, resolution does not affect your image. It's here, we see it, but it does not change your image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to eventually turn off resample size here. Notice our dimensions of our image is 1920 by 1279 pixels. Now it's also read down here because I've changed this from pixels, from inches to pixels. So we see that's the image size. When you size something for the internet, a computer screen is made up of a bunch of pixels. So you tell it specifically what size you want. This is a fixed number. Resolution does not affect this number. Your resolution could be 72 DPI, one DPI, or one million DPI. And this is not gonna change the image size. So what I'm gonna do is, is turn this off and this is gonna make it so it won't resize this image. It's just gonna show you the different inputs and numbers. So what we see right now is this has been switched back over to inches, which is good, but we still have what our, 
our original image size in pixels up here. Notice it, it has not changed. When I change this number from 300 to 72, Notice our pixel dimension did not change. It didn't resize this image. It didn't change anything. All it's doing is saying, hey, if we change our resolution from 300 pixels per inch, this is gonna be the size of our image. Notice it went from 6.4 all the way up to 20.667 inches. So this size is equivalent to this in pixels. If I change this to one, it's gonna give us, you know, this is gonna be literally night, 1,920 inches wide. And if I make this 600, it's gonna make the image 3.2 inches wide. But the pixel dimension is never changing. So this is showing you when you output for something to be printed, you need a combination of all three. But this resolution only affects the width and height in printed dimension. It does not affect the actual pixel size because it is fixed. It does not take into account resolution. So hopefully this video hasn't been too confusing. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.